Let's do 10 Swedish words where we use names to call people things. Oi! My name is not Sven, it is Martin. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of weird because what I'm trying to do here, I don't think there's a name for it. Uh, it's when you take like a, a person's name and you add like a characteristic to it to call someone. Uh, and the best example in English, I think it's average Joe, for example. So I'm going to do 10 of those in Swedish. Uh, uh, and this is something that you sometimes call kids or you call someone, you know, a colleague or something. So bear with me, this is going to be fun. And then we have a funny one, which is Peto Niklas. Uh, Peto, obviously, again, coming from Peter and Niklas coming from Nicholas. And, <laughs> and Peto Niklas is actually a penis. I know. Oh, he was just swirling around with his Peto Niklas the other day. Mm -mm -mm. The next one is an old classic one. It's Trykfels Nisse. Uh, printing error Nisse. So Nisse derives from uh, Nils. Uh, as in Nils Holgersson, uh, the little boy who flew around Sweden on a goose. Yes. Uh, so, Trykfelsnisse is when someone has put an error in a paper, uh, like they wrote the wrong date for this event, then in the next paper they'll say that Trykfelsnisse, printing error Nisse, was here and made a mistake, instead of standing up and saying, yeah, we didn't check that. The next one is Bolle Kalle, and Kalle is a slang uh, version of Carl, and Boll is ball. So, and Bolle Kalle is the person who works the sidelines, and whenever a ball passes the line, uh, that person will run after and get the ball and then hand it back to uh, the players. So, and Boll Kalle. Next one is the word Slav Maya, and Slav is to be sloppy, and Maya, also again a name uh, which I think derives sort of from Maria, it's kind of a slang version of M Maria. So when, you're, when you, your room is messy or you lost your keys, you are en slav maja. And the first one is viktig petto. You are such a viktig petto. And viktig means important and petto is obviously a name derived from Peter. And a viktig petto is someone who is like, he, he always wants to be right. He wants to be right about everything and he's very like, he's very, um, <laughs> it's important that things go the way that he thinks. I mean, it can be a sheet as well. Uh, so, and Victi Petto is some, it's, it's kind of like a smart ass. A smart ass. Next one is also two names that form a being, and the word is Pelle Jöns. You are such a Pelle Jöns. And Pelle is a slang version of Per or Pier. And Jöns, I'm not really sure where that comes from, if it comes from Jonas or something. But to, to be a Pelle Jöns means to be uh, a wise ass or like a, the, the class clown uh, or someone who's trying to be funny. Elegance. The next word is snål jobb, and snål means to be, well, you don't want to spend money, so you just keep the money, and, uh, <laughs> and jobb comes from Jacob. So, and snål jobb is someone who will not give you money, he will keep it for himself or herself. And then we have a funny word, which is <laughs> baja maya. So we had maya before, which I think still derives from uh, Maria, and baja is... <laughs> I'm not sure if it's actually a word. Uh, I mean, in Spanish, I think ba baja means something. But a baya mai is basically an outdoor toilet, uh, which most of the time doesn't have like water uh, supplied. So it's an outdoor. It's an out in. It's where you take your poop and your pee when you're at festivals. Then we have two names that actually mean the same thing, but it's different depending on which gender it is. And that <laughs> derives from uh, parking. The people that check that you've parked right, and they will give you a ticket if you haven't. Uh, and the feminine version is Lap Lisa. So note Lisa, Lap Lisa. And the masculine one is Pay Nisse. P is short, Pay is short for parking. The funny thing, when, when you say Pay Nisse in uh, the definite form, Pay Nisse, you're basically saying the penis. And there you go, that was 10 different names uh, that you can call people, uh, which uses a name and something else to mean something, like a characteristic of things. I still have a few more, so if you want, I'll make another video and add those in there. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you the next time you click out one of my videos. Bye.